Good morning. It's Johnny Sunshine. It's trash day. It's Tuesday, guys. Let's see what time it is. Trying to get my uh, coffee in me. My phone's been blowing up all morning. Started at like 6.30 this morning. <clears throat> These fucking people, man, in their emergencies. You call them back. You know, you hear the phone ringing at 6.30 in the morning. You think it's probably pretty important. You call them up and they're like, well, uh, yeah, I can't do it today, though. Can, we, can you come tomorrow or maybe on Thanksgiving morning? Cheers, guys. I was going to go buy some creamer, man. The black coffee sucks, man. But I, you know, I'm better off not drinking it with anything in it because it's just, that shit's not good for me. But I need to treat myself on the weekends with some good ass coffee, something that fucking actually tastes good. Uh, <clears throat> so when I got this guy from uh, New York, he thought he was from Rhode Island. He calls me up. He's like, "Hey, my God, this is small dog's not working." I said, "I got you, man. I'll be there today between 11 and 12, because I'm running a little late today." Johnny ain't in no motherfucking hurry. He says, oh, I can't do that. Can you? And this guy called me early, man. Crack a fucking dawn, you know. Well, I can't do it today. How about tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be there tomorrow, pal. Bright and early. Put you a garbage disposal in for my new price. Because we're making America great again, baby. So I called my guest last night at about 7.30, 8 o'clock. I said, hey, how you doing? And she said, uh... Philip's coming, this is John speaking. Okay, what's going on? Kicks on. Okay. Okay. What color is it? Okay. Do you know how old that is? You have a 40 year old garbage disposal, you're doing pretty good. Anyways, uh, all right, um, so I do a toilet for 550 installed for a new cola toilet, white with a soft cold seat, everything's included. Um, the garbage disposal I do in Syncorator Badger 5, good garbage disposal, three year warranty for 350 installed. Uh, the other, the toilet that's running, it, it probably just needs a flapper or a fill valve, and that's going to be charged by time and material, whatever, you know what I mean? I charge $100 an hour, uh, so that would be a separate time and material type job. But and did you say anything else, or was it just those three things? Yeah, so that's where you are. 550 350 and less than you know, a hundred bucks, fifty dollars to fix the toilet that you have, the existing toilet. Uh, yeah, where are you located? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Can you text me? How soon do you want to get this done? Like tomorrow? <clears throat> I can. 
No, I'm, I can do it for you tomorrow. Um, can you um, text me your address? Yes, and I will uh, pick all that stuff up and I will see you uh, tomorrow. I'll call before I come. All right? Have a great day. Thanks. Bye. New customer. Referral. That's how you do it. So I got two garbage disposals to do tomorrow. A toilet. Fix the toilet. This is how Johnny rolls, Mikey. You should do this. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you're still young, Mike. Mikey Pikes, you're still young. You gotta go another ten, at least ten years of struggling. Start saving some fucking money, boy. Stop buying and spending it before you make it. You spend more money than anybody I've ever seen in my life. Thank God you can rake people over the coals up there in New York. Uh, it ain't like that down here, but half your pay is the sunshine in the sunshine state, Jackson. Anyways, let me get back to my phone call with this lady, so... It's really fucking strange. I'm thinking maybe it is one of my subscribers who has a crush on me. And I'm thinking maybe uh, somebody I blocked. I mean, there's just, I, I don't even see him moving around in the house, man. You know, there's like a window open in the kitchen apparently she doesn't even fucking eat it's kind of weird so I called her and uh, very difficult conversation usually when you talk to somebody you get more than a one word response yup nope nope I was like okay bye very uncomfortable and uh, I got one day to go with this one. Got two people coming in. A little strange, this one. Uh, anyways. It's been, I was on a roll till I was rudely interrupted by somebody calling my goddamn business, interrupting me. A uh, little chilly. The weather is just unbelievably nice, man. I love it. Oh. Oh. My massage yesterday went good. <laughs> I went into the... I get there, they said, uh... And Bill Hill. Bill Hill, he ain't too fucking smart. I don't think. He's a Trumper. I believe it's Bill Hill who's a Trumper. Anyway, he's like, hey, uh... You know, you should ask for a woman massage therapist so it's not so fucking uncomfortable yeah you ever hear the fucking joke guys in uh getting a fucking massage and uh he asked the massage uh therapist you know is it is it normal to have an erection and the guy says, yeah. And he says, well, can you get it off my shoulder? <laughs> Johnny don't have no dudes rubbing on him, man. I get a fucking woman. So this lady... I get to the counter and they say, okay, you're going to have an hour and a half massage with Maud. I was like, Maud? And immediately I thought of fucking Maud. Who the fuck names their kid Maud? You know? I mean, it must have been hell for this woman. And still, because Maud is an old lady fucking name. I'm going to Maud's house. What the fuck? So anyways, 
Maud comes out and she's fucking gorgeous. Got a nice little badonka donk on her, wearing like nurse, uh, whatever you call them, scrubs. Beautiful, man. Just fucking beautiful. 41 years old, cool as shit. And I walk in and I tell her, and I realize I really insulted her. Sometimes I do it without even knowing it. I said, damn, when I heard your name, I thought I was going to get a fucking old lady. <laughs> it's terrible. So I had to mend the fence immediately. I had to take it back. I had to fucking eat some crow. But Maud was fucking hot, man. Woo, Jackson. And Johnny loved it. An hour and a half of a beautiful woman uh, just giving you a great massage from the tip of my fucking toes to the top of my head. And the best part about it is at the end, she didn't say, It's my turn. That's the best part of paying for it, man. Hit and motherfucking run, Jason. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so she says, uh, you know, we're talking. I always chit chat with them, man. I mean, I went, I dozed off for probably an hour, but then I had a nice conversation with her. She was very cool. Talked about stretching and how my body feels and the fact that I can't fucking tie my shoelaces or put a pair of socks on anymore. And she said, you really need to get, you need to stretch. She said, I'm one of two people here that do assisted stretching. And I can use my massages for that. You know, all these fucking massages I have on the books. <laughs> so she's telling me about the stretching and everything. And then at the end, she says, uh, you know, you just, uh, you know, come in wearing, you know, like sweatpants or something. And I was thinking, it's like a massage, you know? Fuck it. Go in there and get in your fucking birthday suit, Jackson fucking balls hanging off the fucking table, getting my knee and legs stretched up over my head, my fucking brown eyes staring her in the face. I'm like, I'm glad you fucking told me that, honey. Because I'd have been standing in the middle of the room in my motherfucking birthday suit, ready to get stretched. <laughs> that just fucking roll, man. She's like, I'm glad I told you too. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious, man. So I went uh, right after the massage, man. I walked down to the end of the shopping center where there's a great restaurant. The woman is the, one of the hardest working people I've ever seen. Her dream you know, of owning her own restaurant. Uh, they serve breakfast and lunch. Bella, get in that house if you're not gonna shut up. But she just worked her ass to the bone. It ain't, you know, she's, she's, she's even, she's contorted. She's so fucking under pressure, you know, her shoulders dipping and she's always, you gotta find the joy in owning your business. My friend used to say, Terry, from Terry's Plumbing, one of the things that he said to me is, he said, there are two type of types of people in business. There's the guy who owns a business, and there's a guy who the business owns him. So, who are you? I own a business. The business don't own me. Uh, for you fucking bean counters out there, you know, scratching through paperwork, have at it. Hire somebody, but man, it's about living. So I go into this restaurant, and this woman who's just, you know, she's not enjoying herself anymore in her business. But I get this badass turkey sandwich, man, with avocado, 
uh, just a great sandwich on whole wheat toast and some waffle french fries. And I fucking gobble it down. I mean, it was literally that thick, man. I had to, like, step on it so I could eat the goddamn thing. So I eat the turkey. And it's about a two or three minute drive from there to my house. And uh, I get to the red light on the corner. And I'm sitting there in a tryptophan from the turkeys kicking in. And the massage, and my eyes are closed. I'm down to like one eye open. And I'm like, oh fuck. So I get home. Johnny went bareback again yesterday. Still have an issue with clean underwear. Uh, I'm debating whether to go to the laundromat or do it at my house. So I went into this massage parlor, fucking, you know, birthday suiting it up. She said, take off what you want to your comfort level I was like Whoosh! naked the only thing I had on me was a pimple on my right butt cheek Jackson she said I'm gonna start on your back and I'm gonna finish with your head I was like whoa are you coming on to me she's like I'll call security so anyways, I get home, I walk in the house, and I was like, fuck, I'm going to bed, man. It was like 2 o'clock, 2.30, man. I fucking went to sleep and woke up at like 6, man. Another fucking productive day from Johnny to Chad. Yeah. So tomorrow, I don't have anything on the schedule today. I had two calls. My neighbor down the street called me. I don't like him anymore. Uh, he called me at 6.30 this morning. Um, and I've never been to his house on a service call where he didn't call me back at least three fucking times for stupid shit. So I'm done with him. Uh, told him I have a full schedule from now until next fucking Thanksgiving. And I might want to call somebody else. He said, well, do you know anybody? And I thought to myself, I wouldn't do that to anybody. I wouldn't throw somebody under the bus, even if they're a Republican, which I think he voted for Trump, this guy. Don't like him anymore. And they watch this shit, guys. So I'm talking directly to them. Fuck off. Stay out of my yard. <coughs> So it's another beautiful day. Watered the plants yesterday. I gotta do a little clean up out here. Uh, got some new guests coming tomorrow, I think. Maybe Thursday. Uh, this is working out great. I've got an Amish couple for a whole month. Uh, they wanted two months, but I just I couldn't do that, man. Then I get a, I get a message from some guy who's never been on Airbnb. He's been a member for like a month, and uh, he don't meet the criteria. That's all I'm saying. I need people here who are who are well vetted. You know, vetted. That's that's a big term for you guys who are uh, Trumpers. See, we need to vet these people that he's putting up to be in charge of our fucking national security. You know, let's vet them. Let's know who we're getting. I mean, well, I know you people don't set the bar real high. I mean, you elected a fucking goddamn common white-collar criminal. Uh, but what are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Mikey was just fucking rambling this morning. I watched his video. Uh, sick kids used to have a video in the morning, but now he's he's doing another type. He's doing longer videos, all voiceover. Uh, pretty talented guy. I watch him. 
I subscribed to his channel. But Mikey, he was trying to uh, turn lemons into lemonade this morning. You know what I mean? He was trying to put a fucking happy face on the fact that he cannot hire anybody. For whatever fucking reason. Uh, he just can't get that job done, Jackson. And he, he better realize how the precarious situation he is in. Uh, walkouts happen in business, man, where people, <laughs> people just walk out, you know, they, especially if you got two brothers who are working for you, if they decided someday you, you rubbed them the wrong way, no pun intended, Mikey. I just, you know, I couldn't let that one. That was a good one, man. That was fucking good. Uh, but if they walk out, man, that's a huge part of your business, man. You know, each guy, when you got four guys, Mikey, two brothers, and the other guy, Mike, they're 25% of the business, probably more than that. Uh, Peter, Peter. Whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, he's not out working. He's, you know, making sure the boxes are organized in the shop all day. And answering the phone. And he's good at that. Uh, takes a certain type of person to manage stuff like that. And he does a good job, I would guess. But the guys who are bringing in the money in that are really two guys, man. Uh... And Mikey, he's out there getting it. He likes them Saturday, Sunday service calls, Jackson. Because that's where the money is. You know he's hitting hard on a Sunday. Bella, get in the house. Look at him. Get in there. I'm tired of you just bitching at me the whole time. Look at her. She is mad at me. Gussie. Bella, what is your problem? I feed you, I give you loving, I tell you I love you all the time, and all you do is look at God, he's like, God, God. yeah. They're all walking on rice paper now. Bella, get your hand all right now. <laughs> she knows I'm just fucking with her, man. I love these kids, man. They're my dogs. Uh, let's see where we are. Let's see where we are. So I'm... The thought did cross my mind, guys. You know, I had a guy... I had to block him on my channel. His name's Juan Peralta. It's got to be too much, you know what I'm saying? This guy, and I'm wondering if it's Juan Peralta in that fucking guest house. This YouTube plays tricks on your mind, man. All I know is I'm keeping my powder dry, my shit's locked and loaded, and uh, you just never know. Alcinda Vargas. Yeah. Shout out to him too. He's getting close to that getting blocked fucking it could be it could be him again. Some of these guys are just a little too fucking They're kinda creepy, man. Just saying, yo. It's all par for the course, though. I mean, you got to put up with the shit, you know? When you're a fucking YouTube sensation like me. Your favorite. I guess if you say it enough, you start to believe that. Oh, shit, she, uh... She just closed the curtains in the kitchen, man. Or maybe fucking Juan Peralta did. 
son of a bitch. Ouchie. I hope it can't hear me. This probably isn't good for my Airbnb. But they all think this, man. I just put it out there. I remember Pat one day. I go in and I gotta do something. He's got like four hours to get this fucking Airbnb set up, you know. Somebody else is coming and he walks in and it's a love-hate relationship, man, between the Airbnb host and the guests. And the first thing out of his mouth when he walks in, he's like, Jesus Christ, there was one fucking person in here and they used every fucking towel in the house. <laughs> He's got to do like I do. I count the sheets of fucking toilet paper they use. I give them a stack of toilet paper, not a roll of toilet paper. One fucking sheet at a time. You get 500 sheets. That's a half a roll. I fucking rip them off into little squares, you know, they're perforated. And, uh, yeah. So this motherfucker just shut me out. Taking this as a fucking, the first shot across the fucking bow. Uh, a little weird, man. A little weird. <laughs> and I cracked myself up, man. <laughs> So I'm going to go buy a toilet today, a couple garbage disposals. I watched uh, Steve Lav yesterday fix these toilets in this fucking nasty ass uh, daycare center, man. Obviously the fucking health department inspector is on the fucking take because... The fucking inside of this toilet tank looked like the Black Lagoon, man. It made that fucking pool from the other day look like crystal clear water. I mean, just fucking nasty. And he's in there. I don't know, man. He was struggling trying to get this fucking handle on that toilet because he kept... He, he told everybody that, you know, that it's a reverse thread on a fucking toilet handle. We all know that. He knows that. But he tried at least ten times to get that nut on there, turning it the way you normally turn a nut. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. And then it dawned on him, wow, I'm, you know, turning it the wrong fucking way. But Jesus Christ. Uh, Steve. Tell these people they need new toilets, man. For the good of the kids, man. Jesus Christ, there's cobwebs all over the fucking wall. Uh, just muck, black muck in the tank. And he's worked on these toilets so many times. I've seen the same exact toilet uh, he's been there a thousand fucking times. Uh, you know, rebuild the whole fucking thing, man. Jesus Christ, it's a fucking seven dollar item to put a new fill valve in. He's got these fill, that toilet sti ha still had a fill valve from like 19 fucking 82 in it, man. With a ball in it. Are you kidding me, man? What the fuck, Steve? Snap out of it, man. Stop being a cheap Portuguese, man. Anyways, I left him a comment and, you know, fucking YouTube wouldn't put it up, man. It blocked me. I'm getting close to uh, them blocking me, or putting me on probation or whatever. I've gotten knocked off where I couldn't comment for 24 hours or something. And a lot of times my comments, back to my 
commenters. Uh, they say, are you sure you want to post this? It's really against our rules. And I'm like, yeah, fucking damn right I do. I push that button and they're like, well, we're going to override your vote. Um, we don't like you. Anyways, guys, I'm going to have the rest of my coffee. I'm probably going to jump in this spa. And I'll be honest with you, man. Can't wait till this one gets the fuck out of here. It's a little fucking weird, man. A little weird. I think there's a big fucking, uh... They're having this big get-together down here at the fucking, uh, yeah, the Coliseum. Socially awkward people of America. Yeah. Fuck it. What a barrel of fucking laughs that is, let me tell you. <laughs> bunch of people with them fucking staring at the wall. Don't look at me. No eye contact. Please. Anyways, have a great day, guys. It's been fun. Johnny Sunshine. Check it out.